Hello, my it is Crashmaster, Hello, and welcome back to another webcam video. I was about to say Minecraft. <laughs> oh man, but uh, no, this is a webcam video. Now, letting you know, letting you all know, my that um. I'm probably gonna make a playlist on the channel. If it's not, it's not there yet. If it's not there for two reasons. One, I forgot. Or two, I just decided maybe I shouldn't do it. Although I'll pro I'm probably gonna do it after I record this. So, well, it's basically, this video is supposed to come out, or a version of this video is supposed to come out on the 18th. I'm recording this on February 20th. Um, 2.50 p.m. to be precise, but, um, <laughs> um, that doesn't really matter, anyway, but, um, I just wanted to let you all know, so, basically, right now, the first time I tried recording this video, it was about an hour long, basically, the, um, this, you know, my how, like, if you leave your screen on the stove for a while on your computer, or anything, just about, tablet or whatnot, it'll go black, it did, then I shook the mouse a little bit, it turned back on, obviously, but then the f webcam froze, and then it was, like, two parts, and I had to edit the whole thing in one go, but I didn't, because the video, I felt like it was just gonna be too long, and... I, I didn't want to put you all through like a whole hour video. Maybe it wouldn't even get a view or we could only get like one view or two views. And, I, and this is really important information I want to show, share with you. Now, as you can see, I got uh, Bendy and uh, Freddy um, back there. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, you can see um, I try to keep it a little bit tidy. There's like some papers right here you can see. But uh, and a binder, just don't worry about that. There's also my old phone right here, which is like worth nothing at this point it's like cracked it's really broken everything i got my new i got a new phone as you can see it's an lg but um and i have the light turned on so every and also every now and then i'm gonna be shaking my mouse so that way it doesn't look as really terrible because the thing is more on the last time i focused on the uh this basically i have a logitech webcam c920 which is, yeah, it says HD Pro Webcam C920. I'm using my microphone to record with this, not that, because, tip, the microphone in the Logitech is not that great. Just saying, you gotta improve it, Logitech. Just saying, it's, like, really loud and just really bad. But, um, no offense, but it is pretty good quality. So, I focus on the exposure side because it has frame rate priority or exposure priority. I focus on exposure, but everything was, like, really slowed down and a little, like, it kind of matched with the voice. It was like lagging just a bit behind. So we're gonna go with a frame rate this time, and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. And but you know, since I can't like, I don't want my everything to be super dark or super bright. So I just have my light, my old phone right there next to the wall. So a little bit of a tip for any of you out there trying to do it. I have like this light right here, but there's no room because I have like an L-shaped desk because I have a lot of papers and a lot of work, not just for YouTube, but also like my private life and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's not like I could really put it behind there. So, that's just a little tip. But anyways, so let's get into the video right now. So, they're going to split into two parts. There's going to be uh, updates for the channel and the future of the channel. And this will also be updates on the Sonic movie, which I, I saw on... Uh, how long did I see it ago? No, I didn't see the day it debuted. I think it was like on the 16th, right? I saw it on... Uh, what was it, Monday? I think I saw it on Monday or Sunday with my dad. And um, I think he liked it pretty much too because the thing is, I actually got introduced to Sonic through the um, through my dad's PS3. Like on um, the original, um, like, I don't know if it was the slim model, I'm not sure. I think it's like the first PS3, like the one that came out. And um, uh, Sonic has got to be my hands down favorite, one of the favorite video game characters who I love, like, I love, I always got to Mario first, and I love Luigi a little more than Mario, honestly, but uh, I do love Sonic, Sonic's probably better, because he's blue, he's fast, he's rad, he's awesome, I love him, this is why I love this mov movie, it was amazing, but we'll talk about the second part of the video, now, a few updates, basically, um, there are gonna be a lot of games coming out on the channel, a few more, there's gonna be another three segments of videos, maybe six, but I don't wanna bombard you all with too many videos that you might not be interested in. Two videos in a two series I am gonna play, let me just make sure, that I will be doing soon are gonna be Sonic games. Da da, yeah, got Team Sonic Racing right here, which I'm hoping to, uh, to like kind of be like a Mario Kart series in a, sec in, a in a way, and also got Sonic Forces, which I will be playing this, 
I will be playing Sonic Forces after Sonic Mania because I'm pretty sure the two games are connected. If you haven't seen that video, it will be in the link in the description how I made a theory on that. And I think because it's like Sonic Generations, which is a game that might come to the channel, maybe. The problem is that it's on older consoles and I only have an Xbox. I have all the new consoles besides the Wii U. And, um, yeah, it wasn't exactly, you know, it's a, like, I think you could play it on the Windows, but, um, I gotta make sure that everything is gonna be perfect, because this new software for the, um, webcam C20 Logitech, I'm um, C920, is, um, it seems to be, maybe it could record it, I used Bandicam, which was, like, the, uh, really, like, it wasn't too bad of a price, I had to save up for, like, a week or two to get it, because I also have other things, you know, to pay for and whatnot, but, um, uh, I'll, I'll just see. Maybe from now on I'll use this instead of Bandicam. Maybe I'll just keep using Bandicam for like FNAF and Bendy and all the other stuff like that. But um, anyway, those are just a couple games I'm going to be playing. Um, let's see. I don't want to give away too many secret spots. I'm going to play um, Let's see. What else? Because I do have a few games. I will be playing Super Mario Odyssey. I do have it on me. And another one, another Nintendo game I will be playing is Luigi's Mansion 3 because hey I love Luigi just a bit more than Mario to be fair and um I never really played I played the Dark Moon and the original on the DS but I never got that far into it because it wasn't mine it was like my friends but now I have Luigi's Mansion 3 and I cannot wait to play that that this is crazy the games are so expensive nowadays 60 dollar games plus tax and all that man it takes forever to save up for them because i'm not i'm not nowhere near rich don't get me wrong and i'm not just saying that like freaking game 60 bucks you know you can get with 60 bucks like what like i don't know how much is fana like 20 cans of fana maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe like I want, not 60 cans. I don't know. I don't, I, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, there are going to be more games. Those are just four games I got. There is two games right here on my shelf for the PS4 and Xbox One that I might be playing. I'm pretty much going to play them. And, um, there's actually another one too. Another Dragon Ball game. And it's not Kakarot. It's not the one from Kakarot. But, um, not Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot Z, or whatever that is. I'm probably not going to play that, honestly. I might leave a comment on what games maybe you want to play, if you want these games to be played. But, um, that's four, four games for you to look forward to much in the future. I will be bringing back Cuphead, eventually. It's just that I want to play with Soul Taker. Um, who's, um, who's actually gonna be called Steel Shot Mart. He's, he's got a new identity, no longer Soul Taker, it's Steel Shot. This will be implemented into the Minecraft series, maybe there'll be a backstory, I haven't really talked about it with him, why he kinda changed it, like, I got, I got a few details, but I'd rather talk in person, you know, cause, like, we, we talk on the headsets when we're playing for, like, other games and whatnot, but, um, he is going to have a new channel soon. I'm going to help him make the artwork and everything like that. Because I got, um, I'm got i really used to this all pretty much at this point. I had like at least three to two years of experience on this with YouTube. And I got to say it's really, really cool and really, really great and fun and whatnot. But um, yeah. Also, just letting you know, there are a lot of people out there who I am going to give shout outs to. Like in my Minecraft series. I sometimes give it out like I made a video... The last video, which I gotta say, Mites, thank you for all the support. It was for the uh, super cute texture pack, I'm pretty sure, right? Um, you all really love that video and all my texture pack tour videos, especially like one of the top ones was the the video on... Let me check on my phone real quick. Um, yeah, 50 to 50, 52 views, it says around that. Um, 125 subscribers, I can't not thank you all enough, it might go down, it might go up a bit, cause I know I haven't posted content, and I'm not, I'm not, uh, like, I'm sad about that, not because I'm losing or gaining people like that, well, obviously I love gaining people, but if they lose, like, one or two, I feel bad, because it's like, I, you know, I couldn't really give them what they wanted, but, you know, I, I'm only one person, I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm with this in Soltech, but Mart, just a quick thank you to all of you who watched um this one video. Which one? It was um 
texture pack tour. It was the plastic, yes, the natural and fantasy texture pack. I don't know if those are like paid views. I don't, unless people do that. Can people do that for you? I don't know. I heard of them, but I never ever did it. I promise. It's got 9,000 views at 9K. I cannot thank you all enough for that. A lot of comments really did like that video too. And I will be continuing the texture pack tour series on the bedrock edition of Minecraft, which is like the new Minecraft, the cross platform one. Because out of all of the main editions of Minecraft, like Nintendo, I just I can't get Nintendo Switch edition because unfortunately it's sold out. I can't get it anywhere at this point. The Xbox One, PlayStation edition, Wii U edition, all the other ones. Um, I'm just about done. I'm pretty sure I'm just about done with all of those. So we're gonna have to go into like the the uh, fan made and other people who made them in association with Mojang and maybe Microsoft. I'm not exactly sure. I have to look up some more details, but. Anyway, that's about all the YouTube, um, well, actually, almost, um, I'm working really, really hard on the series of Mine Crash, my Minecraft Xbox One series, as you can see, some of the titles have pretty much been changed on the playlist, if you want to go look, and, um, because it's season one, the, it's gonna split into, like, two to three seasons, as of right now, I have a plan for, maybe, because you gotta understand, this isn't, like, pro production and everything like that, like, I, I don't get paid for this, yet, I might want to do ads, let me know if I should, I'm not sure. I know you can only get so much, but I'm not very planning on YouTube being my full-time job. I have other plans for that. But um, anyway, besides that, so a few games for you got a glimpse at um, Minecraft and Terraria series and the Dragon Ball Z Universe two series, the ones that like embody me as a person, like I'm in the game sort of. Like those are gonna be all my favorite because honestly, I really love the Minecraft series. It's really good. It makes me feel like a part of like I'm gonna have a lot more characters and stuff like that and I really want to it's just really really hard work and I gotta kind of you know flip some stuff around and see what I can do but might um, since we're gonna get into the end of the first segment which is like the updates of the channel basically um, there will be some videos coming out on the uh, the weekend hopefully I'll be recording this on Thursday which is today on the 20th or Friday on the 21st cuz um me and, me and uh, Steel Shot, okay, Soul Taker are going to be going somewhere on Sunday. And I think he'll be coming over to record on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's on the weekend. It's on the weekend. I'm not exactly sure because I got a week off and it's just been very, very difficult. Like, I've been just pretty much relaxing and passing out in bed a lot. It's just been really tiring and I can really ever relax. But, uh... Real quick, last announcement at the moment from what I can remember because I don't script these too much really. I do have, that's my YouTube channel, I do have an Instagram which I rarely ever use and I'm trying to get into it. It's just that I'm really, really busy but I am trying to get into it and you can pretty much see like my kind of personal life like in a sense it just gives you a little glimpse on what I kind of do when I search on the internet and stuff like that because I really do love Twitter and Instagram mostly those are like the those are like the only ones I really ever use everything else I don't really use anything like that but right here if you're interested in following me which I really hope you are um or just look at the post because this is going to involve in the Minecraft series especially it's called Crash Master 2018 I'll probably just update the, I'll update that to can I change the name I'm not exactly sure cuz I'm really ever on here like that um, whatever mine's. It looks like this. Actually, no. It's got, like, it's got my, um, my name sort of like that. So, it looks like that. If you can kind of see it right there. You can see, like, a couple Minecraft skins also right there as well. Let me get back in the light because my face was really dark right there. So, basically, mine's. There's two characters right there. And I want you all to go find them. Crash Master 2018, don't forget. And I want you all to, um, because there's a lot of, there's two characters I really want to implement in the story. One is going to come pretty soon-ish, by 2020, maybe, 2021, I don't know, it depends how fast the Minecraft series goes. Um, and the other videos, because, you know, I do, like, a schedule and it goes all the way back around, basically, like a loop. But, um, and there's going to be a couple skins, and I want you all to say which skin do you like the best basically because I found them because I'm customizing some of them or I find some of them and you can you know Instagram you can flip and see like which image like first second third fourth fifth like it's left to right 
first to la second, third, fourth, etc. So leave a comment, and if you see the Instagram, let me know on what characters you would like or what skins you like, because I have kind of an idea for the characters already, and I'd be really, really appreciated because I've only gotten so little feedback, and I really want, you know, because it's about videos making it for all of you, Mike. And I like having fun, but I also want you all to like the video too and give it feedback as a purpose of comments and whatnot, after all. But now, part number two, pretty much, hopefully this is going to be like a 30 minute video, even that, because I I try to keep in like the 20 to 25 minute range. So, here we go, Mart. Sonic movie, as you, can, as you can tell, I'm a big Sonic fan. I played the games ever since I was young, um, all the way on the PS3. Like, Sonic Generations is one of my favorite games. I played that on the PS3, on my dad's PS3. It was amazing. Maybe playing on the channel, probably not, because it's pretty old at this point. Plus, Sonic Forces seems to have that, because it's got modern and classic Sonic. Um, I got Team Sonic Racing coming out. I'm already still playing Sonic Mania, which I'm actually pretty close to, even though it's been quite the rage fill game, <laughs> if I have to be honest. But um, anyway, I gotta say, this movie, not even 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10, it hit me close to home right here. Right here. It's... It just, it was amazing. There were so many callbacks, and I even did the, you know, I did the trailer review. If you, if you have seen that video, by the way, I got a, got a pretty good feedback on that. If so, I think it was, was um, or Seal Shot, he was surprised, like, oh man, what do you do trailer reviews? And I did like, I did a couple at the time. I think I did the Nintendo Switch. I did the uh, Mario games as well, and I did the uh, the Sonic Generation Forces Connected Theory and Mania and stuff like that. If you um, have been a little bit of a time, a long time or short term fan of the channel, but um, 12 out of 10, that's my review. 12 out of 10, it was great, it was amazing, very very well. Like the other design, I could see there are some really weird scenes, like with the mouth and the teeth and whatnot. And um, one thing I really liked is the body, like sort of, like it was a little more like a fit human than slim. Cause it had like the like it was more like bulbous. You could see all the like corners and the, the kneecaps and stuff like that, especially on the legs. And uh, I'm glad they changed the shoes. The other shoes I didn't. I can't even really remember them too fondly. Like it was just like red basic shoes with a white bottom. But um, these shoes I really do like. Um, the the like the design. He's more kept to the actual Sonic. You could see all the details as well. So it's not like you know, cause Sonic's always been like a smooth. Hedgehog, pretty much like he's put a bunch of gel, but this one is more like, you know, you can see all the details of the hair and the quills and whatnot. So I'm going to give it props for the design team, the graphics team, everybody like that. Well well done for that as well. And um, I, it was just an overall great movie. It had humor. It was a little bit of dark, kind of. Like, not dark, dark, where it was like bloody or stuff like that. It was just like really focused on emotions and the importance of friends and family and stuff like that sort of like because the it did was i think it was produced in the trailer it said produced or made partially with the creators of the fast and furious franchise so you know speed friends and family you know those are the themes of the fast and furious franchise and the cars and whatnot and i always and i really do love those movies as well with my dad as well um he's really focused around the speed apparently because my dad loves cars but uh anyway um, it's just like, I'm not going to give too many spoilers because the movie is still new and I don't want to get in trouble with anybody like that. But, um, there are a few callbacks to the video games. I recommend you stay for quite a bit after the, the post credits and like the long text of white and black, pretty much like white lettering and just a full black text. I didn't stay after that because, um, at the time I was actually like uh pretty tired plus i don't really stick around unless i know the pre-credits and i just look it up on google pretty much on my phone <laughs> if i'm being honest but um i stood around for a little bit to see like the voice actors and stuff like that to appreciate it and whatnot but um what i'm here to talk about is two of the post-credit scenes now Mark, it's there it's pretty much established if you watch the movie already it's pretty much established that there is going to be a sequel there pretty much is. They have to do a sequel. They have to. Also, the um the voice actor of Sonic, by the way. Um, let me just make sure I have his name. I think it's Ben Schwartz, if I'm right. Sonic Ben Schwartz. Yes, Sonic Ben Schwartz. He actually did voice um 
Randy Cunningham, Knife Green Ninja. It was like a Disney show. And um, I gotta say, it was actually, uh, I actually really did like that show. Um, honestly, it was just like a really cool information. Uh, like the, the style of it, it was really, really cool as well. The season finale was like, eh, to me, I feel like they could have done. And that's what really got me, because I was like, wow, that's like the voice of Randy Cunningham from the Knife Great Ninja show. And I was like, wow, amazing. So, yes, props to Ben Schwartz as well. But now, as I was saying, to the two main, um, like, the two main um, post credit scenes. Now, after we see it from, like, the, the video game style, like, sequence of the of that small credits, which is was really, really cool, we see Robotnik, who's played by Jim Carrey, and um get like the full robotnik look because might if you know robotnik or eggman basically from the from the video games pretty much you see like you know he's he's bald he's got a giant orange mustache he's fat he has he's kind of fat and um circular shape he's got um pretty small legs and he's like wearing red and yellow blue glasses pretty much like that and that's how the end of the trailer was too for the new revamped um sonic design we could see him like that and we never really saw him in a movie. You might be like, wait, what the heck? Did they just scrap that or something? No, it's in one of the post credit scenes, the first post credit scene. And we see that he's stuck on an abandoned mushroom planet, which is where Sonic was supposed to go. Well, after he left Earth, if he was, but he didn't. He was staying on Earth. That's just a little spoiler, but you're going to have to watch the movie to understand it. And um, the thing is, is that like he's, he shaves his head and he's going kind of insane, sort of, pretty much. Like he's a real genius in a movie. The this ro version of Robotnik, he's very, very intelligent and very, very like he has the brawn to back it up. Quite, he's not muscly, but he has the brawn to back up his brains really much. And um, this is what I really like about it. We're showing like the sides of how maybe he could be in real life. This is um pretty cool, and uh, the, the movie too. They did a great job with it. Um, to represent the games, in his like in its own sense, but um, yeah, they show him shape mustache. He does have a black mustache, a tiny one with like the little evil villain like curls from like the you know like the old black and white cartoons like a Mickey Mouse and stuff like that, like those old villain mustaches. And now we see it's like a fuzzy, more widened kind of like more widened kind of orangey mustache. Which is a little weird, honestly, and oh boy, please, no, I forgot to, whew, okay, Mart, I forgot to, I was talking so much about the, 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 uh, the updates and stuff like that, I forgot to shake my mouse, just to make sure it doesn't go black, but, um, anyway, basically, as I was saying, he's more like the video games, he's not too fat, but he seems to be stranded there for, I don't know if it's after the, literally after the moment he went in the crash, it seems to be, like, and through the, the, through the giant, like, um, I don't want to give it away, I don't want to say it, like, how we got from Earth to the Mushroom world, um, basically, he is, um, he's transformed into the mold of the video games, he's got, like, red gla goggles, pretty much now, instead of, like, normal kind of blue glasses that he's got, like, the circular ones, but it's, it's sort of similar, and he's now stranded there. Now, when I saw this Mushroom world, I was like, is this a reference to Mario? Because, Mites, you know, like, Mario's, one of his most famous power-ups in the Mushroom series is, well, in the Mushroom, in the Mushroom Kingdom and the Mario series is mushrooms. You have the red mushroom, the one-up mushroom that's green, the small mushroom that's blue, the helicopter mushroom, there's so many, the big orange mushroom, there's a lot of mushrooms. I'm like, is this like a small smidge, like you know, throw away a line to the Mario, maybe a Mario crossover, which I doubt, because the planet does not look anything like the Mushroom Kingdom at all, it looks like kind of a desert mushroom world, um, but I doubt that, because in the game Sonic and Knuckles, which is actually one of my favorite games as well, because, you know, it's Sonic and Knuckles, <laughs> um, there is a mushroom zone stage, I forgot what it's called, but, um, it does have a mushroom stage, so I'm pretty sure maybe that's like that, maybe, because, there is reference to Knuckles at the start of the film, but I'm not going to say how. You're going to have to watch it. Um, I'm not going to say how. There is reference to Knuckles. Knuckles is not in the movie, but there... Well, maybe. It doesn't seem like he's in the movie because it doesn't really show him, himself, as it. But there is reference. So, at the start of the movie. So, no way. The minute you're in the movie, like the first few minutes of it, you're going to see why I'm saying that. Now... That's pretty much it. So it seems to imply that he's still alive. Like, obviously, Sonic didn't, like, kill him or anything. He just sent him away to the planet. 
of the mushrooms and um he's surviving pretty much and that's all we really get to see he's like transforming he shaved his head off of like a little like sh like um kind of razor sort of like a giant kind of metal plate sort of like that and his mushrooms a lot more orange and white he looks like a lot more from the actual video games so that's potential sequel number one maybe they'll go back to fetch him maybe if they need his brains for some tech to fight a new villain Maybe it's it's unclear. It's really unclear, like how he could get back to Earth and whatnot. Cause his ship that he got in there with, like when he was sent to the planet by Sonic, he got a ship, but it was pretty much all broken up with tech. He's got like a backpack full of stuff, maybe from the ship. It's just unclear, like how this could actually develop. But I'm actually kind of interested in that now, um, cause I don't want to make this like uh, cause it's getting close to 30 minutes actually. We're like on 25 ish from my point of view. Um, basically, the second one has Tails. Tails, my It's got Tails. Um, he's traveling through the portal. I, mean, I don't want to say what exactly this portal is that he went from the uh, Sonic sent him. Like, he's got these portals that he travels across the universe with, Sonic does. And, basically, it's, um, it, it seems to be the same one, if I can remember correctly, because I only saw the movie once, and the DVD doesn't come out until around May, I'm pretty sure I saw on Google. And I, I will buy that DVD um, the minute I get the chance on Amazon or wherever I got to get it from. But um, we see Tails. And he's got sort of like some sort of like device maybe tracking Sonic. Because he says something around the lines like, I found him. I have to find him or I don't want to waste time. Something like that. I just remember saying like I found him. And it seems to indicate Sonic. The place seems to be very reminiscent of maybe Grill, Grill Like um, maybe around the planet where Sonic was at the beginning. Or maybe it is Earth. It seems to be either one. I think it's pretty much um, Earth, though, because it seems a lot more bigger than that. Um, so, And the thing is, is that Tails, he does actually get a jump off a cliff while he's on the edge of looking at his radar. And it's and his, his tail spin, and then they, like, around a couple times. And then he's it spins so fast, and he has, like, like, um... He's really fast, Mars, because obviously in the original, like, Sonic 1, Sonic 2 games, and any other games with Tails following Sonic, mostly in the original ones, because nowadays it's, you play as Sonic or maybe separately, um, he seems to be pretty fast as well, which makes sense, because in the Sonic games, he's got to keep up with Sonic, obviously, and help you sometimes, like, second player, but, um, it's crazy, because MatPat made a video on the film, or what, no, no, not film theory, on game theory, on how exactly Tails can do that, because it makes no sense, really, like, he can only turn it so far, and then turn it back so far, unless he's maybe gonna, like, go all the way around, like, he turns it, like, imagine, like, um, from the video, imagine a clock turning so much, like, his Tails, and eventually it's gonna have to turn back, unless it turns back. And then it turns again and again and again until Tails stop. That's my idea, but I don't know. It's not infinite Tails, I think. Maybe. I mean, we got a blue hedgehog at super, at running around at the speed of sound. Why not a infinite tailed, two-tailed fox? Just saying, just saying. Um, I would like to see an insp uh, explanation or a joke like that. Like, how the heck is you flying? Or, how the heck are you flying with your tails? Like that. It would just be so funny. But it seems to indicate maybe... Um, Tails is looking for Sonic, or I doubt he's looking for a Robotnik. I really doubt it, because in the movie, it's pretty much established, like, so no one's ever been around like Sonic, or at least that we know of. Because in the movie, he's an alien. That's the only spoil I'm going to give. He is an alien. Um, and it's never, it, like, the lore of Sonic has been really, like, iffy from a couple videos I've seen. And it's, I don't remember if Sonic's ever been an alien, because it seems to be, like, Mobius, the planet, and all the games is, like, an alternate version of Earth. But I'm not gonna get into that, but in this movie, I like the fact that he is an alien, and he's, like, not, he's humanoid, but he's technically a hedgehog, so that's kind of funny. But anyway... There you go, Marks. That's my updates for the channel, and that's my Sonic movie review and what I think of them. This could be a potential sequel. There's, it's pretty much established maybe two to three sequels, because there was, like, the original games, there was Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. There was a Sonic 4 that was, like, more modernized, but uh, I don't think people really like that too much. I'm not sure. Like, so, two, maybe three sequels coming out. It depends how they do, because so far, this is one of, like... Uh, regarded as one of the greatest video game movies at this point next to like let's go P detective pikachu that movie which everybody agreed was like w like the best video game movie compared to all the other ones but um yeah marks leave a comment on what you think um 
about the Sonic movie have you seen it and what um how, how Sonic really impacted your life as well like mine's because honestly I just love Sonic as a game character he's probably one of my or if not my favorite game character besides like myself being like you know created in Mine Crash and Terraria and Xenoverse and um leave a comment on what games you want me to play um and also like if you want to get like if you can't find the Instagram or whatnot I'm probably going to change it from Crash Master 2018 to 2020 if not, it'll just be Crash Master 2018. That's capital C uh, for Crash Master together 2018 or 2020. Just look those up in case. But uh, anyway, Smarts, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for sticking around so long. I'm pretty sure I put like certain like time lengths in this video if you want like to see either segment. But if you watch the whole video, thank you if you watch half the video around there. Thank you as well. So anyway, Smarts, I'm going to go get something to drink because my throat is um, a little bit dry after all this talking. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell um, for any upcoming videos. Because hopefully gaming videos will be coming up this upcoming weekend. Um, and yes, boys. I will see you all later. Later, guys.